Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here welcome back to Simple Snippets and in this video we are going to proceed with our computer graphics tutorials course and we are going to understand the concept of scan conversion now before we proceed in case if you are new on this channel please check out the whole channel we have 600 plus tutorials on computer science and IT subjects like java programming c++ programming data structures network security etc etc i'm pretty sure it will be very helpful for you so consider subscribing it's free and it helps me make more content like this for you guys now if you watch any of the previous videos in this computer graphics playlist we've covered the basics we've talked about crt we've talked about the different types of scanning that is raster scan and vector scan and now we are moving ahead with something very important a sub topic called as scan conversion and we are going to see some algorithms we are also going to see the practical side of this but before we proceed Let's first understand what is a scan conversion. So this is a quick short theoretical video and once you understand this it will be much more easier when we proceed with the actual algorithms and also we will also be writing code to understand them practically. So starting off with scan conversion. So scan conversion is the process of converting geometric shapes like lines, circles, polygons, triangles, rectangles which are generally described mathematically into a pixel based format. also called as raster graphics that can be displayed on a computer screen so this process is also called as rasterization so you can get this question in your exams if you have computer graphics as a subject in your it or computer science degree you'll get this question that what is called rasterization so that's just another way of asking what is scan conversion okay so keep this in mind it's a important topic and basically this is the core concept in computer graphics because this enables any shape to appear visually as a collection of colored pixel on your screen so this was one definition you can also describe it in another way which is this second line which says scan conversion basically translates objects defined by mathematical equations again lines circles polygons rectangles triangles or for example a line from a point a to b into actual dots and lines that light up the grid of pixel so what is the basic building block when it comes to your digital screen it is pixels we've already discussed this in first video itself so that is the smallest element on a screen display to portray something on that screen using these pixels you need something called a scan conversion so this scan conversion basically decides which pixel should be switched on what should be the intensity of light what should be its color and how it should be represented to form a particular shape or a curve on the screen so this process ensures smooth and accurate rendering of graphic objects on your screen okay so that is the whole concept of scan conversion so how does this process looks like in the form of a block diagram so on the right you have a computer screen this is something that we saw in the first video also but just to go through the scan conversion process as a block diagram you have something called as a geometric shape whatever shape you want to draw on the screen you have a line you have a curve you have a circle etc etc so there will be some mathematical equation for that particular line so the line will have its coordinates x1 y1 and uh, that could be point a and then we have x2 y2 right that could be point b and then there would be some equation of that line as to how the line is supposed to be drawn the scan conversion algorithm is the third step this is where the actual conversion algorithm comes into picture so basically we have multiple algorithms multiple codes different types of codes that work behind the screen to draw this particular line or the shape that you are interested in and this whole process basically takes this mathematical equation and rasterizes it or converts it into the grid of pixels that you want to see so basically the image is generated using this scan conversion algorithm so coming to this screen so this dot basically represents the pixel just assume that this dot represents this pixel now you can see there is a grid forming we have rows and we have columns and these pixels are these tiny square blocks which are arranged horizontally in rows as well as vertical so each of them have a 2d kind of structure so each pixel is actually a physical semiconductor on the screen that can light up individually that has its own individual intensity its own color this is something that as i have already said we've already discussed but each of this individual pixel can have its own intensity can have its own color and scan conversion algorithm basically takes these mathematical equations and converts them in such a way that they can be plotted on the screen and light up certain set of pixels to show you a particular image so just to give you an example let's say we have a computer screen and you want to draw a triangle so you will have some coordinates of the triangle right so you will map these three points let's say this is a this is b and this is c when you have these points 
there will be some scan conversion algorithm that will plot them and it will figure out the algorithm will figure out that between point A and point B you have one pixel to light up so you will light up this pixel also and create a line like this same for B and C so this is point C so between point B and C you have this pixel and this, pix this pixel to be lit up so this algorithm will determine that and light up these pixels and then we have one more pixel between A and C and this will be lit up and then you will be seeing a digital image of a triangle okay so that's the grid of pixels the raster image that you see as an end result of the scan conversion algorithm so this is the whole process of scan conversion which takes a basic mathematical shape like a, like a simple point like a simple line it could be a rectangle it could be a circle it could be anything that has a mathematical equation and using a certain algorithm it converts that equation into actual raster image that you see on the screen that is the whole process of scan conversion why do you need scan conversion because most modern displays function with raster graphics that is pixels right we already have understood that your screen that you're watching this video on is made of pixels it is having a certain resolution and we've already known what a resolution is it, it is basically how many number of pixels are there horizontally into how many number of pixels are there vertically so sometimes you have a 1080p display you have a 4k display you have a 2k display and depending upon how many number of pixels you have that defines the actual resolution of your screen right so these displays are not abstract lines these are basically pixels collection of pixels arranged in this grid format and scan conversion is necessary to visualize any mathematical defined shape as an actual image on the screen. So without scan conversion, the shapes will not be appearing on your screen altogether. And that is why you need this scan conversion process. So scan conversion essentially transforms, as I said, mathematical graphical objects into viewable pixels on the screen. So it uses certain specialized algorithms for lines, shapes, circles etc etc and it is the foundation of all basic advanced computer graphics so it's very important that you understand what scan conversion is theoretically and practically as well how do you understand practically so this scan conversion algorithm is what we are going to study and understand as we proceed in this course right now what we just understood is what is scan conversion we have not seen a particular algorithm so what are these common geometric shapes and objects and what are some basic algorithms in scan conversion so common objects generally scan conversion converts into our points. We have lines, we have circles, we have ellipses, arcs, polygons, characters, some regions that are filled. So for example, you have a box and you want to completely fill it with a certain color, right? You want to color this entire box. So that is basically filled regions. We'll come across them as we proceed. And what are the different algorithms? Some of the algorithms which are core algorithms, which are basic, which we should understand and we will go through them one by one as we proceed our dd algorithm dif digital differential analyzer that's a big name we will always reference this as dda it is a basically line drawing algorithm it's a algorithm for drawing simple lines then we have another algorithm which is called bresenham line drawing algorithm which is again a line drawing algorithm which uses some arithmetic some different methodology and it it uses some different methodology compared to dda and it is generally accurate and fast we also have midpoint circle algorithm and as the name suggests it is used for drawing circles we have midpoint ellipse algorithm used for drawing ellipses we have polygon fill algorithms which basically take a particular closed space and you can add a particular color inside it using this algorithm you have clipping algorithms which means that if you have a particular boundary and if you have a diagram or graphic on it you can decide which part to clip so if this pink color is your frame and you want to exclude this extra part out then you have clipping algorithms which is used to truncate shapes so this part can be erased using this algorithm and only the part inside of specific region will be shown so that is clipping algorithms so these are some basic algorithms which come under the scan conversion category and all of these algorithms as we discussed are basically the foundation for all basic and advanced computer graphics so don't take them lightly these are serious algorithms which are also implemented in modern day graphics of course they are much more complicated but when you understand these small or basic algorithms you can build onto them and actually build some graphics and work on gui based systems so this is a bit of a theory of scan conversion and i'm hoping that you have got a basic understanding of at least the theoretical side of what exactly is scan conversion 
and slowly we will move on to the practical aspect of going through individual algorithms so in the next video maybe we will cover dda algorithm we will cover both theory as well as practical side of each of these algorithms where we first understand the theory and working and then we will also write a code in certain programming language to implement that particular algorithm and see live on screen the working and the graphics being drawn so that's going to be very interesting that's also going to be a little bit tedious so i would request you guys to watch the future videos with a lot more focus those are very serious ones if you are a old viewer of this channel and if you've seen data structures videos where we discuss theory and then the practical these videos are going to be on the same lines of seriousness and intensity all right i'm going to wrap up this video over here i hope you like this video please subscribe and turn on the notifications if you haven't already for the upcoming ones those are very interesting on computer graphics if you're new on this channel as i mentioned check out this channel i'm sure you'll find something useful for your it and computer science degree all videos are free and it's free to subscribe that also helps this channel as well as helps me to create these free videos for you thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace